It's the morning. The market is <sighs> as is less crowded than you remember it being, probably due to the, the chaos that has happened, and a lot of people are just fleeing into the parched dunes. Some are going south to the river towards Sothis, and some are fleeing to other parts of the Syrian. I was going to point at the map that's no longer there. I'm very sad about that. I mean, I have it. I can easily bring it. Um, just and uh, Raldus is, is offering you guys, joining him on his ferry down the river towards... I dealt one ferry to trenches. carry all... Six of us. It's a type of boat. Chief. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna take a ferry over to the slave trenches. Yeah, that's that's what they said. I have issues with the fact that we're not using my Using your what? Boat. Your doom boat? I thought you said you were gonna sail you were gonna sail alongside on the bank in your boat. That's what you said last time. Just fuck you, Raldus! <laughs> I'm not opposed to that. It might get lonely. <laughs> you will be all alone. It might get lonely. Uh, I, mean, I want to try out the Doom boat. I don't believe it's going to can, work. Can Rodrigo and I go and take the Doom boat? Oh, no, Raldus offered telling you guys about the slave trenches. Oh, right. Um, now we should go on his boat. Yeah, or we should invite him to our boat. Can, can, we, can we take the, the dune... The dune boat out for a rip around the dunes before we. Uh, before yeah, you guys have about like thirty minutes. You could do that. We're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna. We're gonna. Sure. We're gonna. We got bad news. We're gonna spend 15, 15 to twenty minutes boat. unfolding the dune boat, mm -hmm. and uh, then chief can't find the dune boat. Boat. Yeah. Chief didn't have it. Yes, yeah, yeah, I did. It was in. It was in the bag of holding. That's a brown I, bag. I will. That's. I just you. found the bag of holding. Triangular iron bar. Map of the parched dunes. So you found the boat? No. Nope. It's lost in the bag of holding. Yeah, I'm looking for it, and kept. This this is what takes us thirty minutes. Look at there that. it is. There's a map go. of the parched dunes. There's some holy <laughs> armor. <laughs> God damn it! Why do I still have this? Clear liquid in a bottle. He's just holding. He's just holding. Potion open the bag of holding. Of just going. White liquid. <laughs> if you just have all these potions, you've never. You've got a bunch of dead items. <laughs> oh, I got a mace still. I pick up the potion of white liquid. Potion of Displacement. 50% missed chance for three rounds. Yeah, that's mine, thanks, Ancap. Have you ever what? taken that out of that bag? What, this? Give me my damn boat! I'm looking for it! <laughs> I legitimately... You hey, what's that? What what's that? What is this? Fancy That's a counting machine. Yeah. Yeah. This is an watching an you guys advocate. just look through a bag of holder. Oh, boy. Uh... <laughs> Uh, oh, there it is! Ah, yeah. do hey. I was really legitimately upset with you. Because <laughs> I knew Justin for humor would have said he can't find it. Yeah. Oh, no, 100%. <laughs> I had to ring a stony flesh, too. I don't know why I kept these in my Give bowl. me my boat. I would have taken it from you. Do you still have my doll? Yeah, man. Okay, good. Was that in the bag of holding? No. Okay, yeah. good. Just. <laughs> These these four Just things are in my book. Don't put those in the bag of holding. <laughs> <laughs> I put chief in the bag of holding. <laughs> don't recommend it. We're gonna we're gonna rip around in the boat. Nice. Give yeah. me a, a occupation sailor because I know you have Fuck it. Fuck yeah! Woo -woo. Yeah, you steer think, around magnificently. She's a natural. It's like I'm just housing in the boat. <laughs> Looking dashing. What are you guys doing while they go into the desert? Just fill out the desert, just the area outside Tefu. I'm standing on the prow of the boat, in fact. Do you like go from sand into river over into sand again yeah. and come back? It's pretty impressive. Fuck yeah. I'm making a copy of the map. There we go. There's my cheat sheet. That's what my sword does. Yep. It was in his day of holding. No, it Every was enemy not. needs the exact same four things, yeah. Literally, pretty much. Uh, like Bane could be swapped out. Bane is the only one that can't. <laughs> oh. Okay. Well, Anyways. Whatever. <sighs> okay, I'm happy the boat works. Yeah, we're good. Yeah. So get off the, the ferry? Yeah. yeah. Uh, there actually is probably like 13 men that are also going on the expedition. They seem to just be oh, wow. general workers. Ooh, man. <laughs> um, general workers going to the slave trenches. I'm not sure I trust Ralphus. Really There's There's also like out. soldiers. <laughs> yeah. Other stuff. She knows what's up. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just write down over here 13 able bodied red shirts. We once ran a campaign where they went into a, des uh, a jungle temple, and uh, yes, I sent along five people we with threw, them. We threw someone onto the spikes so we could get over the spikes. 
That was sick. And you went alignment. Evil. evil. That's when we were in our evil stages. Mm -hmm. Oh, We've well. grown since then. Some of us. Um. It always you always start evil and then you get better. Thank you. Yeah. You always kill at least one innocent person for a bad reason, which you then justify. Bad that. reason? Yeah. He he was going like this. I need to kill him. <laughs> he looked like he was casting a spell. So the, I got afraid. The ride down is probably going to take like a day and a half. Day and a Hey, is this still day 56? No, it's the morning of day 57. Oh, man. I'm going to spend some of that time influencing that young elvish lady. Just to be more friendly with us. To open up more about her brother and her and her trip and her adventures. Sure, go for that doing my job. Oh, shit. You do she that. I'm going to go talk to Raldis. <laughs> Raldis? Sure. Raldis is standing on the edge of the boat looking out like this, being like, the desert's beautiful. Isn't it? I love this man, I think to myself. <laughs> There's a there's a quiet chaos to it. There's a lot of feet in a each, mile. Each grain of sand is telling its own story. This is huge. An idea. Oh, it's huge. All right. I just looked at how many feet are in a mile. How many feet are in a mile? Five thousand two hundred and eighty. How many miles is this? This part right here is one mile. <laughs> yeah, yep. the slave trenches is huge. It's one of the biggest earthworks in Osirian, and still. Can it be seen from space? Who the fuck <laughs> knows? Okay, alright. So we're gonna we're gonna do Starfinder, and at one point you gotta roll that one in there. <laughs> um, but it's it's one of the most unexplored places in Assyrian, because it's just too fucking dangerous. The maps fuck. Maps are from uh, wizards flying overhead. The ones that survive anyway. A it bunch are taken away. Can be seen from space. Well not in space. <laughs> You're just flying like a wizard does. If you guys had a wizard in your party, you know what that, that would mean. We've had sad face. <laughs> yeah. No, no wizard. They're ill right now. They're ill, yes. I well, they're right there. They're heat. <laughs> I mean, they're spellcasters. Neither of them are wizards. That's true. These men, they've been in there before. They're my, uh, they're soldiers, mercenaries, thieves, what have you, that... Just want to get their pockets filled, and the best way is looting what's there in the slave trenches. I suspect maybe two or three will come back with us, but they're willing to take that risk. How much treasure do you guys usually come back with? A good chunk. That's good. Worth enough to uh, risk your life. I'm actually doing it for her. He points to Eva. Sense motive. Are they lovers? 26. He definitely is into her. She rescued him. How did you know that? <laughs> I don't remember sharing that. You're very perceptive. He says, showing the, the shackle marks that are still on his hand. Yes, I was due to be hung. And she convinced me to, they convinced, uh... God damn it. And they, uh, hey. they convinced to uh, free me. The, the warden is actually with us. He's uh, over there. There's a small, <laughs> roundish man eating a few dates on top of a barrel. Dates. Is that so? Has he been acting peculiar at all? No, no, he's just, he's a, he's the greediest son of a bitch I've ever seen. Ah, well, you can always trust a greedy man. They're, they're, they're simple. Whoever has the biggest coin purse is the one they'll trust. It's true. This guy still looks depressed in the morning, huh? <laughs> Whoa. So, what do you want to know about the slave trenches? I promised you some stories, I can give you some stories. How exactly did you come about knowledge of the slave trenches? I was much like these men hired. There was a, a battle, a civil war going on down around there. And uh, me and Denny actually were there. And uh, we got separated. It was then that I just started to notice weird things happening. So I started to explore. It's a lot easier to explore by yourself. It's huge. The, the trenches can go as like, they're like, on average, like 50 feet wide. And they were all made by fucking slaves. It's crazy. <clears throat> Not that I condone slavery. Hakatep certainly did. Thank God he's dead. <laughs> oh, sort of. Entirely. Yeah. Sort of, and he sends them some motives. Give me some bluff checks. Except for Hakatep, because he was honest. You said sort of. <laughs> oh! 
Rip. Um, 18 17. for my... I'm not hiding anything. 18. Sorry. Yeah, we brought it's him back. It's an 18 for my scoff. I don't know what that 22. means. 22. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we brought failed. him back. We brought it... You, you brought him back? Like, is he wit? I was personally enslaved. Is there a joke roll? Can I be like, yeah, we wanted to worship him. Just uh, jokingly. No. No. We didn't. He brought himself back. I'm not sure if you're aware of this, but the slave trenches are fully activated and probably surrounded with the worst <coughs> and nastiest creatures in the world. They aren't activated. They aren't activated. You they're would not. know if they're activated. I've heard stories that when activated, shoots a fucking laser into the sky. What's a laser? Did you not see the goddamn pyramid above Wadi? I didn't know that was about Hakatep. It was uh, one of his generals. I mean, debatable. Anyway, it, there's this story that Hakatep hated the Shoris. He hated Shori magic. Mm -hmm. He thought he was better than them, and he thought they were fucking gloating by floating up high in space, and like, not in space, in the sky, in there with their Shori space. magic. So he designed the slave trenches to pinpoint energy to shoot down Shori magic and bring them down to Earth. Oh, so maybe we can use it to shoot down him. Sweet. So you guys are going to war with Hakatep. Uh, kind of, sort of. Back from the dead, kind of, sort of. Already started a Already war started. with him. And you said you were enslaved by him? Uh, kind of, sort of. Maybe you guys belong in the slave trenches, man. Hey! <laughs> just suddenly, just like, whoa, I uh, level adventurers. <laughs> like, you guys, whoa, you, you guys, guys are way see, more. Yeah. So, what have you seen in the trenches? What sort of things do we have to worry about? What are the things that normally take away your fine men? Sleeping. The first off, you're gonna go nuts. <gasps> Welcome back. Hi. What's up? The bird's still there. Oh. Yeah, it's either gonna go away or it's dead. That's just like... It's gone away either way. <laughs> <laughs> That's meant to be comforting. It's in no more pain. Uh, it's probably actually a landlord's job to get rid of it. What bird? Bird in the front door. Oh. Yeah. Back door. Well, he he actually stepped, stepped on his way in. He stepped on it? No. <laughs> He just didn't notice it. Yeah, we just gotta it. wait. See Hi. how it is. Okay, well, I'll just leave him then. Sounds good. Yeah, you're not, don't touch him. I didn't touch him. Yeah. I tried to, like, look to see if he was breathing. It's winter anyway. He's in hell if he stayed alive, so. Whenever you see a bird, I always ask myself the same question. What would Mitch do? Lick it. Kill it. Why not do anything? What kind of bird is it? All right, we should, we should play. We one. should play Pathfinder. We're recording. Oh, so I'm sorry. Yeah. I didn't know you were recording. Yeah. Bye. Bye, Jody. What was I saying? Does anyone remember? Um, oh I yeah, remember. sleeping is impossible there. There's these stone statues that are scattered around that, I don't know, they locked a spirit of something inside and they're constantly whispering. So sleep oh. inside the slave trenches is impossible. Unfortunately, because the thing's fucking gigantic, you're gonna have to sleep in the slave trenches. So just get ready for a shitty Shitty life. Do you have coffee? Mm-hmm. We're fine. Well, you need to sleep. Coffee doesn't remove the fatigue status that might be afflicted. <laughs> For one by... hour, it does. <laughs> well, I'll be good. Do you All have... fights in the morning. Do you have a lot of coffee? Nope. Drank most of it while we were inventory. Well, you look like you had to, something to say. About the slave trenches, something you wanted to know. You were knowledgeable. You said it wasn't activated. Have you been there? Nope. Just, Just a scholar. Sure. Scholar with a sword. <laughs> yep. Sword First scholar. for everything. No, um... What else How many seen? expeditions have you made? Uh, this will probably be my third. 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 Yeah, it is my third. It was the first time that I went back once to do some tomb diving and realized I don't want to fucking die. So and I you are back. concerned for Eva's safety. Uh, I was. I told her it wasn't a good idea to come. But she said she was going to go without me, so I figured I'd rather protect her than have her going on her own. What's her reason for going in? She's found this book. Oh, yeah. And she book, thinks she can find the, the other half. Book of the Dead? Don't be silly. That's some cultist thing from unspeakable things that I don't even want to Some other universe? On. No, though, it exists here. What's yeah. this book called? Uh, she calls it the Book of Amun-Ra. 
Oh, um, there was a pharaoh here once. Oh, was he? And she's looking for the other half that's currently in the slave trenches. How do you know it's in the slave trenches? <laughs> that's just what the stories say. What stories? I've seen this movie far too many times. <laughs> Urban legends, folklore, you know. Sure. You're, you're bothered by me taking her there, aren't you? A little. Why? It's very avant-garde. She was going to go without me. Do you want excuse me? What? So you would let someone go in unprotected just because you think it's a bad idea? He once left her in a pyramid. Well, this has all been a very <laughs> exciting conversation for you all to have, but I'm curious, what other things live in the slave trenches? Because sleep is one problem, but that wouldn't cause a man to go missing. There's a lot of elementals of various kinds. I've seen earth, I've seen bone, I've seen a lot of ghosts. I hear yeah. there are divs there. Tons of divs, remnants. There used to be a tribe of genies that were responsible for uh, building the place. Yeah, we met one of them. I believe it. He points at the emptiness of the parched dunes. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, there's tons of divs. That's great. There's stories of like, there's, once again, I'm, I don't want to say a story and offend this guy. <laughs> but that's where the so-called genie killer resides. Oh. Her name is Akazuberi. Is it like a fruit? No. Ancap, you are trying me. We've heard of Agazuberi before. We've been visited by one of her minions. Dang, you guys are still living? You do belong in the slave trenches. I think we'll be okay. Still living is a good way to put it. <laughs> yeah, Agazuberi, she, uh... She's one of uh, Fable, Hakatep's guardians. And, uh, there's, if I remember correctly what the, the stories say, is that there's two <laughs> that reside there. Agazuberi is one, then another is a shaitan named Tefnaju. And what's Tefnaju famed for? Greed? There's hmm. a story that he was tricked into residing there? I don't know. Interesting. Have you seen any of these things? The ghosts you mentioned and the elementals, but... No, I've, I have not, I've seen, I've seen... Divs are... peculiar. We know. They can appear in any form. And sometimes you see a dust cloud going out of the corner of your eye and you know, is that the desert or is that a div? I've never seen one face to face, no. How exactly have you survived three journeys into such a deadly place? Ghosts and elementals and divs and... Because like you, I know that if I survive, there's a lot more gold waiting for me tomorrow. I like him. I Very like him. And if it makes you feel any better, Mr. High and Mighty Macho Man... Excuse me? I'm not getting paid <laughs> by Eva. I'm doing this for her. I'm not using her for her pocketbook. I'm not using her for her elvish knowledge. If you want to watch her, feel free. She's an elf? But I feel yes. like Holy I would do. Fuck Ann Cap! <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't see a lot of people who know this. I feel like I would do a lot better in this case. So you deal with your problems, I'll deal with mine, and we'll stay on opposite sides of the boat. How about that? Never I have no problem before, with you, sir. Uh, the... Tense jaw holding and mm -hmm. the bouncing knee says otherwise. I'm gonna go talk to Eva. Do you guys have a good one? If you have any questions, flag me down. Uh, hey. If you need to puke, do it off the boat. The warden's puke? already puked three times when we were docked, so I've had enough of that. We're running out of sawdust. <laughs> and he walks away. God, I remember sawdust. You remember sawdust? On boats. Oh. The smell just gets stuck into the wood after a while. Yeah, but I mean, the sea really doesn't smell good. Wood. Wood. The, sea, the sea smells wonderful. What are you talking about? It smells, it's like salty and bird shit. Brine is a wonderful smell. It's very cleansing. 
Aren't you also from the Riverland? Yes. And you don't like the smell of the sea? No, it smells like salt and bird shit. You prefer the smell of the... The forest. Rivers? Because the rivers smell worse than the sea. They're stagnant-ish. Well, it's not the rivers, it's the forest. The beautiful forest that I prefer. You mean the place that constantly smells like rot and wet? I don't think I've ever seen a real tree. Excuse me? Me neither. What the... F well, there are trees. But like you know, a like real a tree, like a like an arboreal forest tree. Like a group of trees. Seen a forest. Yeah. Maybe really? that shit over there. That's the closest I've seen to a tree. It's just like one fucking dead, <laughs> scraggly <laughs> thing, just like. Uh, and it falls over as we watch it. <laughs> Roots just <laughs> into the river where the crocodiles just destroy it for no goddamn reason. Crocodiles are vicious today. <clears throat> Look at the dead. <laughs> Whoa, how did we not meet that though? Not that, the other. Yeah, how have we not met that? Because they just haven't put items in here too. Yeah, they fill they fill it out. They fill the deck out. With baboons. <laughs> Only the baboon. Every extra card is a baboon. The the baboon's actually from your home place. I gotta say though, yeah. like the book of the dead was actually a book. That is a scroll. The book of the dead is the Necronomicon. It's true. Okay, uh, everybody. Hi. So. Also, the Tibetan religious book, because, yeah. No, nope. a fictional. True. <laughs> Tibetan is a fictional place. <laughs> Tibetan is a fictional place. Yeah, Tibetan Tibetan is. Is. I've never heard Tibetan. of Tibetan. Tibetan Rodrigo? You were concerned about sentence conjugation earlier. Nope. I was great. <laughs> we are. We are. Family. We are walking into a very, very dangerous place. Like we have not done that already. Yeah, making a copy of the map. I will point out if this man has survived multiple times, it means one of two things. Either they didn't care about him, mm -hmm. or he's bought and sold. Oh my good god, I thought you were pointing an ANCAP. cap. <laughs> I understand now, it's fine. Yeah, okay. He did walk past me, so he was just pointing in the direction that the man walked off. Yeah. Yeah. You're surprisingly cogent sometimes. Look, I'm making a copy of the map. So I am confident that it's some sort of laser. You think that's where the laser comes from? Okay. Okay. Just based okay. on the design, I would I would actually likely <laughs> agree. Uh, Ray. Does it mean anything? I mean, if I was going to build a giant piece of earthworks out in the middle of the desert to shoot things flying in the sky, I'd probably make it in the shape of an R? Does it say anything? Does the shape reveal anything to any of you who can read all of this? Oh, does it? Please insert key hamburger. to start engine. Yeah, there was a hamburger or a Pokeball. Uh, a what? <laughs> I don't know. A Let's fictional do a creature you can 20... catch. <laughs> sure, I'm saying I just gotta look it up. It's a, it's a, it sure, it's a little game that something. Something is it? Yeah. yeah, it says you can play. Go. <laughs> Would you prefer linguistics or engineering? Linguistics, because you're reading ancient Osirian. <laughs> yeah, can I dungeon <laughs> ancient, ancient, ancient Osirian? So you also oh. have to do a linguistics. Sure, can I'll I, do a linguistics. Can I dungeoneering this place? See if I can like suss anything out about it from the map? No. Oh boy. Nope. I don't have any ranks in linguistics because I don't talk to people. Twenty-six. But do you talk to books? No, mostly dead people. Oh, fuck! You Nothing. It so, you're able to suss it out. Yeah. It reads different things if you read from west to east or east to west. Sure. So when you read from west to east... It says, the sun and sky are bound to the stones below. And reading from the east to the west, it said, the most accurate translation you can make is, let earth call down and bind the sky. Okay, the sun and sky are bound to the, the stones, below. stones below. And then the other one is, let earth call down and bind the sky. What is exactly is this? Shaitan. Anybody? Kanye says, that is an earth genie. 
Nice. She talks. Because you met, yeah, you, you met one. Yes. You met one. Um, this says cool things. Does it say nice. Hakotep? Because that's what I would have written. Uh, no. No, you would have written Rodrigo. Hakotep. 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 <laughs> Could not fit the H. Hakotep. Something about the sun and the sky being bound to stones below. Mm. And then and then if you read it backwards, like if you're playing some music backwards, it's let the earth call down and bind the sky. How do you play music backwards? Don't worry about it. You look at it upside down. Yeah, that would actually probably be very interesting. I'm going to try that one day. Please. Better, better. <laughs> Let's try it together. So it doesn't say Hakotep. It in fact does not say Hakotep. Mm. I'm never going to understand this man. I am so sorry that his mind does not work like yours does. I'm I am also not sorry at all. I'm very sorry his mind doesn't work like mine does. Yeah, it would be I very know. easy if it did. So, the aromatic inflagibulum, or however you pronounce it. Inflagibulum. Rodrigo. That's what he sounded like. The aromatic and fragile the bloom. That is, that is... I heard that before I left. The room. Yes. Saw Hakotep. Uh-huh. It was good. It was good, wasn't it? Mm. Yeah. The whole Earthworks is somehow designed to amplify its energy. So take that away and everything's good? Take away the whole Earthworks? No, no, the, the one piece that amplifies. Up. Well, no, we need that one piece to call down the pyramids. Well, yes, obviously. But then if we don't want him to be able to send them back up, we just we... need to shut the damn thing down afterwards. Yes. Is there an opposite button? Can we overpower it and shoot the pyramids higher? What? <laughs> Into space? Into space! <laughs> and then we don't have to deal with Hecatip at all. You know, I so imagine that away. is a not a design feature they would have purposely built into this. There, there must be a dial. There might be. You know, if a Death Star can have a... A what? <laughs> Don't a worry what? About it. Don't worry about it. It's fiction. Something from space. <laughs> fiction. I learned long I don't even ago. want to know what a Death Star from space is. Another story like. from the desert that doesn't make any sense. I learned a lot of those. <laughs> Makes sense in that context. Anyways, yes. <laughs> um, after activating it, would we want to be shutting the thing down? Because I can't imagine that we want to spend the rest of Hakatep's war just guarding this place stopping his pyramids from going back up into the air. And I can't imagine that they won't assault us the moment they're trapped down here. There has to be some way to make it stick. Didn't ask. We got anything that'll blow something up? We got, lots we got coffee. I got lots of holy water. So we bring down each of the pyramids and then we fight our way through every single one. No, just the main one. Just hack a tap. It's true. I've been wondering about that. Do you think do you think all of his forces are just going to melt away once he's gone? Well, if we get that little stone slate that I'm he confident. like writes on, we could take control of the pyramid army. No, Neith, we could not. Why not? I don't mean to take over things, I mean to like bring them all to the ground. Continually take over Assyrian? No. <laughs> No, yeah, like... Yeah, no, that actually does sound like a bad idea. I don't think we could fake being him forever. I mean, maybe you couldn't, but I can fly a pyramid forever. I, I more meant that the generals would figure out the ruse eventually. Here's my fear. We have to activate... Nine obelisks? Ten obelisks. Between dawn and noon, I am very afraid we might have to split up. And I do not want to do that. Between a single dawn and noon? Yes. Are you certain? It said dawn and noon. Is he certain? We go. Well, Hackathon's defeated us just by sheer dint of the size of this damn thing. Well, congratulations, Hackathon. Welcome to your brand new Assyrian. Damn it. We got a dune boat. Put, oh, mm -hmm. shit. How fast does the dune boat move? Put, Wait oh, I guess these, these are big. They're wide. They're 50 wide. 50 feet across, he said. Some places. These all look pretty uniform. 
It's a map. It's a representation. They're, they're fairly uniform. No, a wizard went up and took a photo. And then came back. Took in. a what now? A what? With his mind, he took a thing and then printed mind it. Mind Is it like a spell of some sort? <laughs> yeah. It, what happens? It comes out of his mouth, the image? Yeah. Wizards are so strange. They are, they're like weird... Are you drinking things. enough water? No. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, we're going to take a break for you two. <laughs>